This is a model from Mountain Model Imports, from America obviously, and to those who are USA fans will know that this is a mud hen. This is not a garden gauge locomotive however, it's actually standing on HO track. For the purpose of this test, I've got the loco mounted on some standard Hornby HO track. So this is very narrow gauge. It's 7mm scale on HO. This is an incredibly detailed model. It's die cast as well as having brass parts. The tender was virtually a solid lump of die cast. It has a crew and everything works. Everything. This is normally a two rail locomotive but what I've done is to radio control it by using an Omni TX21. I've also fitted sound. The entire radio control setup is here in the tender underneath the coal load. You may be able to notice it but there are holes in the coal but you never knew it when you turn it like this. Top place here is the Omni receiver which also has three negative grounds which is leading to the sound card which is inside. Also visible here is the infrared eye with which I can communicate with the sound card and set it up to my tastes. From above you can see the on off switch and there's the charging socket for recharging the batteries. Underneath the receiver in the lower part of the tender are all the components that make up the radar control system with sound. The batteries are 12 volts nickel metal hydride, 10 times AAA. This should give a duration of about two hours. This is connected to the on-off switch wiring loom, which is connected to the Viper 10 speed controller, the Omni receiver, and of course above that the sound card with the special speaker with the little box. All this goes in there. So let's show you what she can do. First of all we've got to turn on the transmitter and then turn on the loco. And you can hear the static hiss. Pop the colo back on again and we can test by blowing the whistle. It also has a bell and it also has a safety valve. There are also some other sound effects that we can employ by using the sound card remote control. For instance, we can make the bell work from here. We can also say, All aboard. yes, you heard it. All aboard. All aboard. There is also a Westinghouse pump. There you go. And you can make the tones of the whistle change and the volumes of all the sound effects individually controlled using the volume controls. By using the P plus and P minus, we can also make the chuffs change their pace. But let's test her. Working lights, as you can see. So let's bring her back. The safety valve might blow. Then of course the driver would blow the whistle to say he's going into reverse. Start the bell going. And away we go.
Just one more thing to show, and that would be the inertia control. If I turn the inertia up, and now turn the transmitter forwards, all by herself, she moves away. And of course the same effect is true if we now bring it to a halt. So at the end of a run, we lift off the co-load, turn off the loco, and equally as important of course, turn off the transmitter. Well, it doesn't get much better than that.